Right, I believe that's everybody. Oh yes, prestige canister on top of this fourth warehouse, the one furthest into the level from the starting point, so that's uh, something to note. Do -do 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 -do. Boom. Now, where did order get to? Because that's some... Ah, uh, there he is. Oh, he's got knocked out. Blast. A shame, because he can prove very useful in the coming fight. Okay. Well, in that case, since he's been knocked out, we'll finish off his job. <laughs> Zero HP. Nice little paradox for you there. Yes, and you guys can do the rest over here. Now this is how you take out a we uh, an entire building using only your fists. There we go. Of course, even if the building only has zero HP, if there's still some of it standing, it's not been destroyed. Paradoxical though that is. Come on, Ant. Destroy the evil warehouse. There we go. You are making a mess of my establishment. A pinstripe don't take that from no one. You punks are going down. Pinstripe, this time we won't be so easy on you. Tarnation and Tommy guns. I should have wasted you when I had the chance. This is for your taste in clothing. Ah, blow it out, you corn pipe. The tide of battle has favored Freedom Force this day. But what is this? An interloper has decided to tip the scales against our heroes? Suddenly, shimmering in the air, a strange portal opens up, and through it steps a most unusual figure. Temporal distortion detected. Current location, United States, circa 1962. Who invited the rust bucket? Assessing situation, human targets acquired. Extermination program, Initiated. In a phrase, oh frack. Okay, so here we have the boss fight of the level, and we have three gangsters that turn up. One on this roof, one over here, one over here. We have Pinstripe, our old friend. Oh god, 330 HP, that's going to be fun to take down. And we also have Microwave Robot. I am... I know I said very early in this LP um, that I thought Manbot was the best name in the game, but frankly, Microwave is a close second, if not a joint first place, because that is just brilliant. Okay. Now, unfortunately, now as you can see, Microwave is vulnerable to quite a f is resistant even to quite a few things: mental, radiation, piercing, and crushing. But he's vulnerable to electricity, the only thing he's vulnerable to. So it's a good thing we bought Man of War, isn't it? It's almost like I planned it. <laughs> um, yes, my recommendation is that, um, well, to take down Microwave ASAP. For the simple reason that, well, as you can probably tell by now, all heroes have some sort of elemental theme to them. The ant is arguably acid. Minute Man is crushing. Um, El Diablo is fire. Man of War is electricity. Microwave is radiation, and a vast number of your heroes will be vulnerable to radiation. Hence, uh, you want to take down, take him down ASAP using uh, his elemental resistance, which is electricity. There we go. It's also a good idea to take out um, uh, the gangsters that Pinstripe summons, for the simple reason that they're just a bit of a bitch, really. It's a bit of, you know, they're just one more thing that you don't really want to be dealing with. And of course, because he's vulnerable to electricity, it means he's, he's more easily stunned. Pinstripe, unfortunately, um, uh, is it, is, um, yes, as I have remembered slash been informed, he has a passive defense 
Alright, we can probably get in there and finish off with melee attacks. Got him! Right. Now we can focus on Pinstripe. Okay, what do you need? Yes, and unfortunately, yes, he has a passive defense that absorbs crushing and piercing attacks. And indeed many other attacks, so it's very hard to find something that will actually work on him. Okay, we'll just remedy our heroes. Fortunately, however, once you get rid of Microwave and everybody else, then... Right, now I can't remember if this actually works. If you can stun him or put him in stasis if the if the ability stops working. Unfortunately, I don't think it does, which is rather irritating. So, I apologize, good viewer, if this is somewhat of a grind. Because, of course, if you take along heroes like... Come on, Ant. Ooh, bugger it. Um, if you take along heroes like Manbot or Alchemist, then you might be more likely to uh, to be able to destroy them faster because they'll have energy-based attacks. But to be honest, with this combination of heroes, and of course you don't have to follow my combination, the only real damage you're going to be able to do is with Mana War and the Ant. So again, apologies if this takes a while and you're just literally just watching me. Got him again. If you're literally just watching me do the same sort of things over and over again, grinding wise. But, what can I say? Ah, that's good. Hmm. Yes. Oh, bugger it. Note to self, heal Minuteman next time. Got him again. As I said, it's a bit of a grind, but then it's also Pinstripe's fault for having 330 HP. Okay, Liberty Lad, try and whack him. Yes, unfortunately, since uh, Liberty Lad and Minuteman are compulsory heroes for this mission, then if you just use them, it can be a bit... You're, sorry, you have to use them, so you're only stuck with two heroes that can really do much damage. Okay, let's see if the bastard is resistant to dynamite. Maybe that might work. In fact, Liberty Lad, you go over there. Man of War, you keep stunning him. Because we're not doing too badly, we've got him down to 36 HP, that's pretty good. Okay, run away from the bullets. Catch. One of these days, these blasted things will, bl well, blast on contact. And again, another storm bolt. Okay, Man of War's almost gone, so burn him, Ant. And, you know, the acid, because, of course, acid and radiation are his two vulnerabilities. Got him! Then he'll eventually go down to them. As they say, boom. Life certainly has gotten strange. Still, we got what we came for. Pinstripe is going to face the scales of justice. Liberty Lad, that robotic enemy could be of some use. We'd better bring it back to the Freedom Fortress so we can run the scanners over it. Sure thing, Minuteman. Law and order, thanks again for saving my bacon. Think nothing of it. And should the need arise for our services in the future, feel free to call on us at any time. Gee willikers! And there it is, good viewer. Looking for trouble, complete it. Very good mission, in my opinion, because it's got... It's challenging, but it's not impossible. Um, and as I said, I like the, the first section with where you're running around the city at night with Liberty Lad. Perfect run, excellent. 1001 prestige, uh, excellent. I'm not sure why I get 1001. Oh, right, yeah, 276, right. Hello, one of us can't do maths. And... 
yes, pinstripes, warehouses, no damage, no prestige loss there, and we lost order, but we don't lose any damage for that. Um, for those of you who are interested, I know I didn't show it, uh, didn't show the screen afterwards for the first part of this mission, but we got, we destroyed all enemies. Um, I'm afraid I can't remember exactly off the top of my head what enemies those were, but we got all of them, and we got uh, 430 prestige for doing all of that. All objectives and everything. So excellent, a cool 1600 prestige for that mission. Good. So, we will leave things there. So next time on Let's Play Freedom Force, we will take back Microwave <laughs> to uh, the Freedom Fortress and find out what on, try and find out what on earth is going on with these portals and uh, that have appeared yet again strange most strange indeed ladies and gentlemen this has been the Skyrider farewell until we meet again